as we're driving through the middle of town, bullets start to bounce off the side of the car. This represents a bad day at work. And of course, the adrenaline spikes. Your heart rate goes through the roof. As the team leader, my mind is racing. And all I can think about is book deal, Netflix, <laughs> who's going to play me? Tom Cruise is too short. Bram Pitt is not good looking enough. Uh, this is going to be a problem. Of course, in actual fact, there's an element of fear and responsibility to what's happening. How am I going to get my team out of here? And then we do a thing. And we do a thing called a tactical pause. And we just take a deep breath for a second and you reflect on what's going on. And you think to yourself, hang on a minute. There's only four people knew what we were going to actually go and make this meeting today. And they're all in this car, sitting here. So actually, statistically, the chances that anybody knows we're here, we were dressed like locals, not in a three-piece suit, and certainly not driving an Aston Martin. In fact, we were driving an old Mitsubishi Shogun that looked like an old car, that was in fact quite a new car, and fortunately was bulletproof. And I'm thinking to myself, well, no one really understands what's happening here. So what is actually happening here? And I start to look left and right. And I realize that there are two rival organizations. One might think Tilney or SJP or something along those lines. And they are, in fact, having a massive disagreement as to who is allowed to sell what to whom under what postcode. And of course, they both like to sell an incredibly high value product that Afghanistan was once famous for exporting all around the world, mostly to the square mile of London. And in fact, negotiations have broken down so badly that both sides have resorted to negotiation via Kalashnikov. The problem is, they hadn't been to Sandhurst. So essentially, they couldn't shoot for toffee. So in actual fact, they were missing each other and shooting us, which I thought was pretty rude. But of course, the reality is, they didn't know we were there. They weren't shooting at us. We were literally caught in the middle of a problem that wasn't ours. So of course, at that stage, we did what any brave group of British intelligence officers would do, and we drove away quietly into the distance and did absolutely nothing, which makes for a less dramatic story. But the reality of these situations ladies and gentlemen, is that unlike what we see in the movies, teams of four people isolated in dangerous cities doesn't end well for the soldiers, no matter what you might see in the movies. And that's where we came up with my kind of strap line, which really is intelligence, not information. What's real and what's not? What is intelligence and what is just background information? And can I stop myself from responding to the emotion of a situation. And to pick up on what Mark was saying earlier on today, can you imagine if you'd reacted to the emotional pressure of that moment? My perception of that moment was that we were under attack and it was dangerous and it was all going to go wrong and my trained instinct was to come out fighting, which would be 100% the wrong thing to do. And I probably will be telling a very different story, if at all, in front of you here tonight. So actually, by taking a deep breath, working out what's real, and then basing a plan on what's real and what I can control rather than what I can't control, is what enables to deal with a situation that felt scary, but in actual fact, wasn't quite as scary as it might have been. It's all relative, right? And you might be thinking to yourselves, all right, Tim, I get it. Singing for your supper. I mean, I've already had dinner, which is literally brilliant, so I can't lose now. Singing for your supper, but how does that relate to me? I'm almost prepared to wager there's not a single person in this room that at some point hasn't picked up the phone and regretted it 30 seconds later. Hasn't pinged the email straight back again, probably in capitals, and then been trying to work out how you retrieve it. There's certainly a whole load of politicians doing that right now at the moment. So actually, this ability to knee-jerk reaction all the time can hamstring us. It's a survival instinct. 
So when you feel the adrenaline start to drive or the emotions start to react, just say to yourself, intelligence, not information. Filter out the background noise. 